Hello my buddies and bats and welcome back to my channel. We're back at this angle which means another beading tutorial? What is this nonsense? That's right guys, I'm doing another beading tutorial because I felt like beading today. I know so many people have been asking for beading tutorials again. So here we are, back with some more beading keychain tutorials. Now I've not done this in a long time so I'm going to try and speak clearly because I know that a lot of people who like to watch these videos on my channel, um, they are not, like English is not their first language in most cases. So I'm gonna try and explain this clearly so that someone quite young could understand it and pause and do the step, or someone who's a bit more advanced could kind of go ahead or like just watch the video quickly and skip ahead and be a bit better. Anyway, so first off I have my flat white lacing as I usually do. Now you could use silk or satin cord if you would like or you could use uh, round plastic cording. I just like flat white plastic cord um, and that's just because it was on sale when I bought it and I have a giant roll of it forever. And then you're going to want some tape, and you're going to want to tape your work to your surface. And now to this, what you want to do is you want to tie a loop in the top, right in the middle. You can also add a keychain loop or a lanyard hook or anything like that. I'm just going to go with the standard loop so that I can reuse this cord for other tutorials. I have about two meters worth, so one meter on each side, uh, or my wingspan. I'm a very long person, so I've got about two meters worth, so for some of these projects this will be way too much, but I, the way that I do beading projects is I would rather have too much cord and cut off some at the end than to have too little cord and have to restart. So the first one we're making is a ladybug. This one is going back to basics. It's fairly simple, just like the gecko and just like the butterfly keychain I've done on my channel before. And this one requires two colors of beads. You will need black beads, and this is 20 black beads. And you will need red beads, and that is 38 red beads. And then, this is a very springy tutorial since it's super sunny out now here in Canada. I'm really excited. I have the sun on my back right now and the light above me, so hopefully you can see quite well. Um, and also, I got the brown table this time so that you can see the cord as well as my beads when it comes to the tutorial part. So, first things first, we're taking our left side and we're taking the end. The first thing we want to do is put three black beads on the left side. So, three black beads on the left side. We're going to pull them all the way to the top. And now this is the way it's gonna go. So you're gonna wanna take the right side Sorry, it's, sometimes it's hard to work with a lot of string, but I prefer to get to have a lot. Um, so you want to take your right side and put it in the opposite direction, also through those three beads. And then we'll pull the right side all the way through. And then we will even this up and tighten up like this. So pull on both sides until the beads are at the top. Excellent. So then, the right side is now on the left, and we're gonna take that left side again. So I'm always gonna work left and then right, just to keep this simple. So then we wanna take four black beads. One, two, three, and four. Pull this along, and then we want to take the right side, 
and put it through the opposite way towards the left. So from left to right and right to left each time. And then we pull on both loose ends and pull tight. So we now have the ladybug's head, which is super fun. So next is where we get into some more pattern work. So our third row, we need two red, one black, and two red. Remember, on the left side, bring this to the top, take our right side, and go from right to left through all of these beads back the other way. And sometimes you can get stuck on the bead seams, that's okay. Just take it nice and slow. Sometimes it's easy to hold the beads with your hand like this and pull the strings. And then we pull this up. Dun, dun, dun. So there we're starting to see the pattern a little bit. So next we want to do one red bead, one black bead, one red bead, one black bead, one red bead, one black bead, and one red bead. So three black beads and four red beads in an alternating pattern going red, black, red, black, red, black, red. Pull this up to the top as well. Take our right side and push it from right to left. Just be careful that your ends don't get knotted. There we go. Back to our left side. This one is going to be four red beads. One, two, three, four. One black bead. And then four red beads. One, two, three, four. Now you might have noticed I pushed the beads down into my hand once I felt this getting a little heavy. Otherwise it would have fallen down and all the beads fallen off. So I just pushed them into my hand to hold them a little more steady. So we have four red, one black, and four red. And then we're going to take our right side and go back through all of these beads. And pull on our loose ends. And sometimes when it gets wide like this, you have to kind of like mold it a little bit, but it'll eventually work itself out. So then we go back with our left side and go one red, one black, two red, one black, two red, See, I push them back into my hand so that I can have this side open and not falling over. One black and one red. So red, black, red, red, black, red, red, black, red. And then we want to take the right side and go back through the beads.
and then we want to do just like this row we did before. Four red, one, two, three, four, one black, and four red. One, two, whoop, two, three, no, three, four. And you want to go back through all of these. And then, just like this row, we want to do red, black, red, black, red, black, and red. So red, black, red, black, red, black, red. Pull those up to the top, take our right side, and go through the other way. And can you believe it guys? We're on our last row already. Such an easy one, right? This row is Two red, one black, and two red. Just like this row right here. And then take our right side back through all those beads and Pull both sides. And there is our finished bead buddy. So what you want to do to tie this off is to take one side at a time, cut it down to a more reasonable size, and then you want to just simply tie it off. I'm going to do a little bit of knots here, only slightly going first so that I can re-tighten and re-flatten the way I like it. But you get the idea. You just put your knots right up to the top there and then you can secure it with some glue. So. There you go guys, this is our beautiful beaded ladybug. Show me on Instagram and tag me at emsisfab, link down below in the description bar. And check out more of my videos, both beading and non-beading. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you, love you, love you lots. Bye my bunnies and bats.